Hello folks, we have another round of Legacy up here for you today. On the left we have Ian Flynn playing uh, Elves. I was going to say Mono Green Elves, but I don't know if, it, if he has a splash for any different colors. On the right we have Dan Rich, aka Legacy Dan, playing Sneak and Show. Ian's hitting us with the Green Sun Zenith turn 1 into a Dryad Arbor. Every time I see that play, like, it's a very simple play, but like, damn, that feels good. When I'm, I'm against it, I'm playing Delver, my, pan, my opponent does it, I'm like, that also feels good. <laughs> Not for me. It looks like it's really good for them. Alright, Dan's gonna fetch out a basic. I imagine he's going to ponder or preordain or cantrip somehow off of that. So you can choose one of those decks, man. It's just like, yeah, there's a brainstorm. It's just so good. When it works, it's so good. And how are you beating an Emrakul? I mean, I guess now you could Solitude the damn thing, but... I don't know terribly many decks that are playing Solitude outside of, like, Death and Taxes and Band Control. But... Our top two guards here. I was gonna say, I imagine we're gonna get fetch land. Oh, I like both of these decks a lot. They both have like a combo aspect to them, but they both can do other things. Like elf, elf ball combo. I mean, Ian can just kind of kill Dan randomly. But I mean, yep, there's an Alasaur Shepherd. Green spells can no longer be countered. There is a Quirion Ranger. Quirion Ranger. <laughs> He's gonna bounce that forest back to hand, untap Dryad Arbor. Oh, what the heck's the name of that elf? It's the one that says tap three untapped elves, make three green mana. It's not Nettle Sentinel. It combos with Nettle Sentinel. Don't remember. Hmm. That's upsetting. Yeah, we're gonna play the land for turn. I'm going to make three green mana here. Four green mana, okay. Natural order? Yeah, natural order sack dryad arbor. Hmm. Progenitus? Probably not. We'll play the green white one that declares a uh, a card type and the opponent can't play that card type. Name sorcery. Yep, there it is. The R, I think it's an Archon. I was like, probably they're going to declare sorcery. That's what that looks like. Yep. Let's see if I can find a, an elves list real quick. Let's see if I can find out the actual name of that card. As well as the elf that I completely forget the name of. Heritage Rude? Heritage Rude. Yep. That's the name. Archon of Valor's Reach is the uh, one that just got natural order during the play. Flying Trip. Flying like Vigilance and Trample, 5 6. ATB, choose artifact, enchantment, instant sorcery, or planeswalker. Players can't cast spells with a chosen type. So it is, it hits both sides. It does hit the sneak and show, or the show and tell portion of the, the deck name. Dan could, in theory, have a sneak attack, though. Right, fetches out a Volk. It's always funny, like before he fetched for the, the Volk, it's always interesting watching a legacy gameplay where like nothing expensive is on the table. Four mana, there's a sneak attack. Does he have the Lotus? He does have the Lotus Battle Speak. Jesus. <laughs> Puts an Emrakul into play, he gives it haste. Yeah, it's gonna be game. He doesn't have enough permanents. Yep. That's gonna be game one going to Dan you, you on right. Sneaky Show. And we're gonna start game two right now. Fetch Green Sun's into a Dryad Arbor. 
If I chose a Bayou this time, it'd be nice. I wonder if he has like any other black pipped stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if, I mean, is Shadow the Pack good enough in Legacy? I guess if you can summon it off of. Nah, it's probably just for sideboard cards. Alright, full ponder. That really nice looking ponder art, too. Absurd. See a lotus petal in his hand. Optimum right, shuffle. I don't know if like Dan is actually a very aggressive shuffler, but the speed at which he shuffles that deck, it looks pretty aggressive. And go him. <laughs> if I tried to shuffle that much speed and force, I would just like, throw half of my deck. I'm gonna draw from the ponder. Passes. Ooh, that looked like he had a guy's cradle man. That's pretty sweet. Taps the bio, plays a Nettle Sentinel. It looks like it's lethal. Does it untap during untap step? Cradle Nettle Sentinel. Make three mana. Play Choke. Oof. Choke just says Islands don't untap during players' untap steps. <laughs> that was a good turn for Ian. Got two guys on board. Has a Cradle out and a Choke. There's an Ancient Tomb. Lotus Petal. Oh, what's the heck is that? It does uh, Pyroblast? No, not Pyroblast. It deals two damage to each creature. Pyroblast is your other card. What is the name of that card? I, I literally side, sideboarded it before. What's wrong with me? And of course, I can't. Oh, there's no. a chance. Eastern Clock. Yeah. Not Pyrochemia. Pyroclasm. Oh, That's what it is. I knew the word pyro was in there somewhere. Alright, we got a Scalding Tarn. Play Ian. Fetched out of Arbor. Or, not Arbor Elf. Dry it, Arbor. Has another cradle in hand. I think he's a natural order too. Not sure what he can now. I mean, what does he natural order into here though? Could go back into the. The Archon. Or the Savannah. Is that what we say? We say green creature. I imagine it does. Otherwise, there would be some weird combo. Uh, combos with that card. Right, cast a natural order sacks dry arbor just gets hit with a force of will island for turn plays the lotus petal no action in his hand yet it's only a two card hand but Green Suns for one. Does it make 
send Alasaur Shepard. Would be a good thing to get on the board right now. It's absurd. Alasaur Shepard just saying your green spells can't be countered is so strong. Forest and what looks like a cradle in hand. Gets in for one, goes 16. I was going to say it sucks that Guy's Cradle is a legendary land and he can't put the other one into play, but that would be too good, so it doesn't suck. <laughs> The show and tell. There's a Grizzle Brand. It'll be able to have two activations with it, too. I'm going to draw seven here, go to seven. I think he picked up another show and tell. Definitely picked up a sneak attack. Question is, did he hit another? That'll do it too. One and then one. It's separate. Gotta fish out of five. Did he pick up the Emrakul? A show and tell. Yep. Oh, there's an omniscience, and then there's an emerald for the extra turn. <laughs> yep. That's gonna be game two going to Dan. Thanks for watching, folks. We have Steve Show going over elves two to zero uh, in this week's legacy matches. If you want to watch live legacy gameplay, we do stream it every Friday at 7 p.m. at Alter Universes Live on Twitch, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. Other than that, have a great rest of your day. That's what the black splash is for. Thoughtsies. But my media.